All right, so what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story is honestly something that is the biggest mistake of my life, and to this day, I think I'll be morally embarrassed because of this. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I was a really bad kid back in high school. You gotta understand, back when I was in high school, I would never listen to the teachers. I was really a bad student. And on top of that, I just didn't care. To be honest, I was surprised I graduated, but I had that mental capacity where basically every time someone told me a piece of information that I need to learn for my future, I would just say, I don't care. If you guys want to know something factual, let me tell you this. Basically, if a person says I don't care, they're basically the biggest give up and the biggest losers on the planet. So next time you think about saying I don't care, just remember that literally means you're giving up and you're a loser. That's just the common sense of it. But anyways, going on with the story, knowing I was such a bad kid back in high school, I'm not going to lie. It led me going to the principal's office a lot. And me and the principal, we've actually developed a relationship almost. Not like that in a bad way, but basically in a way where basically we became friends. I... Uh, I know it's kind of weird how a principal that's supposed to make me in trouble and make me feel bad ends up being my friend. But in a way, basically, I guess the principal is just trying to relate to me and try to talk to me and try to make it seem like I'm not trying to give up in high school, which I mean, fair enough. If you give up during school or drop out of school, you're considerably probably another biggest loser that's in your mom's basement right now, beating his me and not doing anything special for his life. Unless you're like the next Elon Musk, but that's not the point. Basically, I remember back in high school, I, every time I got sent to the principal's office, the principal was always there to talk to me and basically basically feel like I'm worth something, which is nice. And don't get me wrong. It was really cool. And it got to the point where actually one time I decided to give him my number in case of any emergencies that I couldn't come to school. Cause like I said, giving up on school made me lead to skipping school a lot, which was not good for me at all, but still I would do it occasionally. And yes, I would literally skip school sometimes to literally film a YouTube video. I know it sounds really weird, but that's how much I cared about becoming a YouTuber instead of getting my college education and thinking about my future. Kind of sad, but at the same time, I guess it worked out. Anyway, is going on i remember one day i was walking down the school hallway going to school with some motivation to go there and basically walked around my high school when i walked around my high school i realized that there was a chick there that i've never actually seen before and she looked really attractive now me notably what i would usually do is i would walk up to them and just say hello so that's what i did i walked up to her and i'm like hey like how's it going my name is bubba what's your name and she said oh like my name's shelly shelly is a really weird name now one thing i'm gonna say about her name was that having the name shelly kind of made me feel weird at first but at the same time kind of made me laugh because you guys don't know, our principal's first name was Shelly. So it was kind of hilarious to see that our principal and this girl shared the same first name. But at the same time, this girl was hot. So it didn't really cross my mind that there would be a problem in the future because of this. So I remember I ended up getting her name and basically I ended up calling her hot and stuff. And we ended up walking down the hallway and I even told her as a funny joke. Oh, you're like, you know, our principal's name is also Shelly. Like his first name. I remember when I said that, she kind of looked at me weird. And she's like, uh, kind of weird how you knew that. And then I realized that was a dumb thing to say. So I ended up just saying, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, I get in trouble a lot, I guess. And she ended up laughing. It was a good save, I guess, but in a way, it was still kind of embarrassing. Anyways, towards like the end of the time when I was hanging out with her, it was almost like the next class. So I had to basically get ready to go. And I ended up telling her, hey, like, I was just curious, like, can I get your number? She looked at me and started laughing and said, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the new girl here, but sure, I'll give you my number. And then she ended up pulling out her phone and basically putting her number in. Yeah, kind of a W. I know. I basically pulled a girl in like less than like, what, 10 minutes? Anyways, after she put down her number, I remember I basically ended up going on my phone, putting her as a contact list and basically naming her Shelly because that was her actual name. And me doing this, I'm not going to lie, it ended up being the biggest mistake of my entire life, career, school life, uh, basically everything I ever existed for. And you'll see why. Just keep watching the story. So basically, after I got her contact name, I remember I basically started, you know, basically messaging her and all this stuff and basically talking to her back and forth. It became really awesome, but ended up being really cool. And honestly, she was a really awesome girl. I ended up learning that we both liked the same superhero. We both had a lot in common. And honestly, she liked Batman. Man. Like, what girl likes Batman of all things? Like, I have a Batman tattoo on my wrist, and there's a story behind that, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's crazy to think that this girl liked Batman. I've never seen a girl like Batman. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting over dramatic here, but basically, afterwards, I remember that night I ended up going home and I still started messaging her and still talked to her over iMessage. But basically, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to basically get more deep in the, you know, in the hole, if you know what I mean. So basically, I remember I ended up actually hitting her up saying, yo, I'm gonna add you on. Snap, I right? and she ended up sending me a winky face saying, Bet you won't regret it. And then I remember I basically went on my Snapchat, I went on to like you know, contact list, and I ended up adding the girl named Shelly. Yeah, this was a big mistake. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, Oh, why? Like, you're gonna get your photos, Baba. Yeah, no, that's not that's not the point here. Uh, the point was was that I added a girl named Shelly, but I had two Shelly's on my contact list. I kind of just said whatever, ended up adding the first Shelly I saw, and I ended up sending a photo of my yes, of my eggplant. Okay, I'm not gonna say it anymore. I 
sent a giant photo of my giant, enormous, huge eggplant. I probably shouldn't be saying that during a YouTube video. YouTube, don't demonetize me. I'm just explaining my side of the story. But yeah, basically, I ended up sending her that. And a little to my mind, I ended up getting an ad back from the Shelly. And when she opened it, I ended up getting a photo of a computer sent back to me saying, Bubba, what are you doing? I ended up thinking, oh, maybe she didn't want to send photos. That was my bad. So I ended up sending a photo saying, oh, my bad. Like, it was a big mistake. Like, I, you know, I got the wrong message. Out of nowhere afterwards, she sent me a snap back saying, Bubba, we'll talk about this at school tomorrow. Um, okay. And then afterwards, I was just sitting there kind of curious. In my mind, I was thinking, why in the world would she be all flirty, send me a winky face, and then afterwards, she just doesn't want to do anything with me on Snapchat? It made no sense. And then I realized I got another text message from Shelly saying, when are you going to add me back? Wait, what is what I texted her? I sent her a screenshot of the Shelly I added, and she said, that's not me. And when I looked at the contact name and the number that was under this Shelly that I added on Snapchat, it was my principal. My principal. I sent my literal giant massive eggplant to my principal. My principal literally added me back saying to go to the school tomorrow and basically meet up with her and talk about this. I didn't want to talk about my eggplant to my principal. What was he going to say? Oh, like, Bubba, you have a massive eggplant. Like, what, like what, what is he going to say to me, bro? So I remember I was panicking. At that point, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, there is no way I just sent my principal my eggplant. I remember I was freaking out, like, basically dying. And then Shelly, the girl, was basically texting me saying, oh, like, are you, like, unattracted to me? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, are you okay? And I ended up just saying, screw it. I FaceTimed her and told her my whole situation. At first, she was laughing. Then when I told her that I had to go explain everything to the principal tomorrow, she started freaking out saying, no, you cannot tell the principal you were talking to me because that will make me in trouble. And I'm like, how would it make you in trouble? And then she ended up saying how like her parents are really strict and stuff. So I didn't know what to do at this point. It was either I rat Shelly out and say the photo was meant for her and get her in trouble as well. Or just tell my principal that the photo was meant for him. And it was just, you know, why not? I don't know. I decided to basically freak out at this point. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. So the next day when I went to school and I ended up going inside my principal's office, basically, I remember I walked in there. I sat down because I had to go there for first block because I got in trouble the other week about something that was stupid. We don't want to talk about it. But anyways, I ended up sitting there and my principal walked up to me saying, Bubba, can we go to my office, please? I ended up saying, sure. Okay, I'm down. And I ended up getting up. I ended up going to his office and I sat down and basically explained to me. He said, Bubba, yesterday you sent me a pretty explicit photo over Snapchat. Now, I don't know how you added me on Snapchat, but you understand that there are parental rules and rules that I have to follow and protocol I need to follow when it comes to interaction between a principal and a student. And this cannot be one of them. I ended up looking at him saying, listen, I understand what happened. It's my bad. Literally the photo was meant for someone else. It slipped when I clicked on your name on Snapchat. I didn't even mean to add you. It was just a big mistake. I remember he looked at me saying, all right, well, I'm just going to say this now. Please just be careful. Uh, I, I don't want to talk about this ever again, but at the same time, I will keep you suspended for two days because I don't want you at the school just in case any repercussions. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you can head home now. I remember I stood up and I was all annoyed because I had to go back home, but I ended up going back home. I got suspended for two days. And when I had to tell my parents why, I literally just said that I got in trouble for doing something else than actually doing what I did. Yeah, it was the most morally embarrassing thing. And honestly, to this day, I still cry about it. But anyways, guys, that's basically for today's story. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.